All right, let's do a pack one, pick one in a chaos draft of the Legion's pack we opened the other day. Before we continue, I just want to point out that when I put the cards like this, you can kind of see the cards aren't cut quite the same on the corners. Just thought that'd be interesting. Anyway, so on to the pack one, pick one. Starlight Invoker, two mana, one, three, eight mana to gain five life. Um, it's a cleric. Uh, so average stats, blocks two twos, the mana sync ability is okay, um, definitely a card you want against an aggro deck, but not too exciting. Mace Tail Histrodon, it's a beast, seven mana, four four, first strike haste. Expensive, but it cycles for three mana. Um, you can kind of see, uh, cards are a lot better in recent years, um, but... Uh, I guess it's still considered good because it cycles and great top deck late game if you happen to have seven mana. Uh, Hunter Sliver, the return of slivers in this set. All slivers have provoke, um, but in the chaos draft, this is just a two mana one one with provoke. Um, not too great because unless you really want to ping off one of their one ones, which is doubtful, this card probably won't be too useful. Echo Tracer, 3 man 2-2, two, two, or morph it for 3 man 2-2. Two, two. Flip it, um, return target creature to its owner's hand. So, kind of a mana war that you have to activate later. Um, kind of nice that it's a trick. Uh, yeah, I like it. I mean, not the best common, but still useful. Gem Palm Avenger, this is... Uh, of that cycle, it cares about uh, tribes. This one's a six mana three five, but if you cycle it, all soldiers get plus one plus one and gain first strike until end of turn. Um, yeah, I guess in a chaos draft, because soldiers a little more common of a creature type. Uh, I guess if I happen to pick up like two or three soldiers, this would be useful. Otherwise, it's just a six mana three five and cycles for three, so. Not too exciting as well. Jim Palm Polluter, the zombie version. Uh, yeah, six mana, four, three, but double black to cycle. Um, yeah, we're not in zombies even a little bit, or even a lot. It's it's not that useful. Whipgrass Entangler. Um, pretty fun card. Three mana, one, three is pretty weak, though, but two mana to activate the ability, and you don't even have to tap it. Uh, is pretty useful and pretty annoying. Uh, good mana sync for late game. You just use it like two or three times and really taxes your opponent because it itself is a cleric. So um, they have to pay, what, three mana to attack or block. Um, pretty fun card. Obviously gets better with more clerics, but cleric isn't as common as a creature of a, yeah, creature class type. Timberwatch Elf. 3 mana 1 2 elf payoff. Um, yeah, so most of the time just a 3 mana 1 2 gives something plus 1 plus 1. Not great in a chaos draft. Daru Sanctifier. It morphs for 2, um, but 4 mana 1 4 uh, to destroy enchantment. Not what you really want. So, yeah. Smoke Spew Invoker. Um, 3 mana 3 1 is. It's okay, aggressively statted, but eight mana to give a creature minus three minus three. That's it's actually not bad. Um, great mana sync, ping off the medium creatures. Um, yeah, I like it. I have my eye on it. Even Redeemer, four mana two two flying, prevent two damage. Uh, I don't know. It's more of a four mana two two flying than anything else. The preventing damage thing is. Usually not as relevant, because as a flyer, you're probably attacking with it. Yeah, so, unfortunately, the mana cost is built into this ability. Master of the Veil, uh, you may turn target creature with more face down. Yeah, not looking forward to this one. I mean, if there were, like, packs of uh, anything from Khan's block, this would be pretty fun. But otherwise... It's a morph that ambushes as a 2-3, so that's a no for me. Withered Wretch, I remember this was pretty good in standard, I think. 
2 mana 2-2, two, two, although double black, um, just eat up your opponent's graveyard. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I mean, you can't usually be mad at 2 mana 2-2s, two, although I heard that was the case for Dominaria. 2-2 two, two mana 2-2s two, just weren't that useful. That's what I heard. Deathmark Prelate, 4 mana 2-3, sack a zombie to destroy target non-zombie, but at sorcery speed. Um, and it's a cleric, so you can't even sack itself. Uh, yeah, not too great here. And then the rare is Kiln Mouth Dragon, 7 mana 5-5 five, five flying, which is pretty steep for rare, especially nowadays. If you have any dragons, though, you can amplify it. So if you amplify it once, the 7 mana 8-8 eight, eight dragon, that pings for 3. Um, yeah... I mean, if you have any amount of dragons, it's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I mean, 7 mana 5-5 five, five flying with no abilities as a common is pretty bad. So, let's review. Again, this is for a Chaos Craft. And this is pack 1, pick 1. Um, there aren't too many things that stand out here. Whipgrass Entangler kind of sticks out. It's pretty annoying, but that's about it. Uh, Smoke Spew Invoker. This one's pretty good, just because Chaos drafts usually tend to be more grindier in terms of the games. Aven Redeemer's only okay. Withered Wretch, 2 mana, 2-2. Two, two. Uh, so I'm kind of between the Invoker and Kill Mount Dragon. Oof. Uh, I mean, it's hard to pass on a big fatty, but this is a really big fatty, right? So I think my pick would be Smoke Spew Invoker. 3-man, um, 3-1. Three three attacks well. It'll trade with most things, but if you hit 8-mana, it just gets pretty good, right? It's better than this mana sink, because this one you just gain life, but this one you can, like, ping off creatures or just force bad blocks for your opponent. Um, yeah, so this would be my first pick. What do you guys think?